on previous interviews on like Twitter or Facebook, you play you pay a lot of homage to Jay Reed and Kid. Explain to the people so they will get to understand for the people who don't understand. Well, it's like this. Kid, I call him the general. He's the general. He's the one that started the whole GMD thing. Jay Reed, I call him the lieutenant. And as we all know, Jay Reed, that's my right hand man. You know what I mean? That's my heart. He been, he been, he been with me. You know, since day one, before the rap situation, and um, that's why I pay a lot of homage to Jay Reed because. Jay Reed, when nobody ain't want to be bothering with me for his rapping wise, and everybody was laughing at me, and everybody was like, oh, Reezy can't rap, he mumbling in his raps, and this, that, and the third, which at the time I was corny, I'm gonna admit, you know what I mean? But he still stuck by me, and when nobody else wanted to be bothered with me, you know, he pulled me in in the gym, and he hollered at kid. And Kid okayed it. That's why I pay a lot of homage to Kid. You know what I'm saying? Regardless or not, they could have kicked me to the curb. Like, no, I ain't messing with you neither. But even though I feel like, even though I feel like I was a great addition to the team because it looked like I'm the only one still doing it from GMB. So I definitely feel like, you know, it was a great risk for them. Bothers me. But my point is, it shows you how much faith that Jay Reed had in me when nobody else would have done it. And personally, he's like that toward me. So that's why I pay a lot of homage to Jay Reed. And when I wanted to start rapping, all my homies rap. But everybody else had their own little camps or whatever, like Highs had blood bath and Liam was rapping with Highs and Sykes had they on NBC and you know JFK, Sykes, Jack Raw. You know they had everybody had their own little situation going on. And when they heard me rap I was corny so you know it was a joke to them. But Jay Reed, you know, he knew I was serious so he definitely pulled me in and looked out for me, so that's why I pay a lot of homage to Jimmy. Okay, now, Kid's last CD still li lyrically better than y'all. That was released, like, back in 2007, last time people heard him mu musically. Why is that reason? Well, I hate to say it, uh, I'm probably going to get killed by Jay Reed for putting this out there, but um, life is taking care of under right now. He's going through some personal issues. Uh, kid is not the same. Kid is not kid. And, you know, life straight him away from making music. And also, kid feel like he don't have a flow to keep up with today's rapping, but if French Montana can rap, and Two Chains can rap, then Kid can rap because Kid lyrically would destroy you. But um, personally, he's not up for the challenge because he's he's going through you know all the time right now. So that's why it been taking so long. And you know he always gonna be the general. That's the general. And, you know, I just pray for him, and the whole camp pray for him. Hopefully, he get back on his feet and you see another project from him. <laughs> Jay Reed has been on all of your CDs up until your CD you released last May of this of this last past year. Woody Hart of a Champion. How come? Well. You know, Jay Reed, Jay Reed was on every project up until this point. And I feel like Jay Reed, you know, it's hard not to know So, it's 
It's all good, you know what I mean? But if you're hard in it, I'd rather for Jay Reed not to put it put a verse on there anyway. But Jay Reed always supports me. He's behind me a thousand percent. You know what I mean? So that's way better than him being on a project. But I would have loved to see him on Woody Hot of a Champion. Because he, he was rocking with me on every other project. I tell him I need a verse. He had a verse for it, but you know. But he's definitely behind me, 100 percent I thought it was so. Salute to Jay Reed and Kid. I right, know. Out of all of the original members of GMB Black Flag movement, with the obsession, with the obsession of Black, how could Jay Reed has never released a CD of his own? Honestly. I've been trying to, well, we all was trying to get Jay Reed to release the project. He always said that he thinks about it. And like I said, right now, his heart is not into making music right now. So, you know, at this point in time, he ain't gonna do it. But I don't know why he never did it. I know, I know that he wanted to and I knew it crossed his mind. But I think, I don't think that, you know, he would, he believed in, the, in, in making the whole project on his own. For whatever reason. You know what I mean? Do you ever think he's ever going to release a CD of his own? I think so. I think once he goes, I think once he get back in his music bag, I think he'll release a project. But Jay Reed does things at his own time, at his own pace, so I think when he, when he gets back in the groove of music, making music, I think he'll release the project. But I'm definitely interested in it. I want to hear it myself as a fan, so I want to hear it myself. So God willing, he release a project. 